The discernment has to do with the fact that at some point recently we've left the realm of certainty. That, that there is no true unequivocal facts anymore. We're swimming in a swirl of information overload, misinformation, disinformation, and definitely ulterior motives or agendas. I mean, that is becoming quite clear when you have whistleblowers like Snowden, as when you have the Twitter files, you have Assange, you have these people that are revealing that everything is not savory as it appears. The motivations of the big, the big tech, the motivations of the big pharma, the motivations of the big agra, the motivations of the food uh, industry is mostly based on greed and control. And so what we end up being the recipient of is information that has been tainted or cross-contaminated. Uh, so what that what that does is it puts us in a predicament where it's unsettling because we don't know what exactly is true which news which bit of research which which station which channel which article which influencer my god the influencers the inf just think about an influencer on social media which is the new platform are you think that they have always their your best interest at heart and just the idea that there are influencers is exactly the point. What is that dragon pointing to? That there are so many bastions of power that, and so many uh, lines or channels of communication mainlined into our veins, directly into our amygdala, trying to exert influence on us. And then also we have to realize that as a fractal civilization with so many screens, our response also exerts a kind of unconscious influence. So if enough people see a little bit of data that quote unquote goes viral and it stirs up the emotion and there's a rally cry for us to champion a certain kind of agenda and we haven't stopped to analyze, we haven't stopped to inquire, we haven't stopped to challenge, we haven't stopped to ask ourselves what is where is this coming from then we are complicit and now we're now we have been turned into a multiplicity of influencers and suddenly our attention and our emotional set and our reactivity has been hijacked for a greater purpose one that we may not be actually all that aligned to